Welcome back to Friday Night SmackDown, where tonight, in your main event, Chad Gable and Otis, better known as Alpha Academy, are set to take on Braun Breaker, as well as the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. An epic tag team main event right here tonight on SmackDown. We are set to kick things off with an epic, high stakes, triple threat affair, one fall to a finish. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano set to participate in this second of two triple threat matches in the United States Championship Eliminator. Last week here on SmackDown, the strange and unusual Dexter Loomis picked up the victory over the glorious Robert Roode as well as tapping out Dolph Ziggler in the first triple threat matchup. So he moves on to two weeks from now on SmackDown to fight the winner of the matchup we are about to see between Johnny Gargano, Jinder Mahal, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. The winner of that matchup in two weeks' time will be the new number one contender for Imperium's ring general, Gunther and the United States Championship. Johnny Gargano, of course, was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown in the draft about a month ago. Unfortunately, came up short to Cody Rhodes a few weeks back. Gonna get back on track here tonight on SmackDown. But here comes the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. And his opponents first from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Well, Jinder Mahal makes his way to the ring, we want to remind you the next time we come your way on pay-per-view, just over a week away, Sunday night, April the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, and it's going to be a live premiere of WWE Backlash. Already a few major main events signed for that event, Again, it is coming your way 5 p.m. Eastern time next Sunday night, the 16th of April. Cannot wait to see how Backlash continues to come together. Of course, Drew McIntyre, the man who will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against the franchise John Cena at Backlash, set to participate in your main event tonight as he teams up with the newcomer from NXT, Braun Breaker. As they take on Alpha Academy later tonight here on SmackDown. But here comes your third and final participant in this three-way dance, making his return to SmackDown, the phenomenal AJ Styles. A show that was once the house that AJ Styles built. He's back on the blue brand tonight. And from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles once ruled upon Friday Night SmackDown with an iron fist. It was also back in 2017 on this very show that Styles defeated one of the men he meets tonight, Jinder Mahal, for the WWE Championship. Styles no strangers to the United States title as well as he is a former United States Champion. So is Jinder Mahal. A whole lot of stakes riding on the line in your opening contest tonight. Three men who are back on SmackDown through the WWE draft about a month ago, now meet with a golden opportunity. The winner will fight Dexter Loomis in two weeks' time to determine the number one contender for the United States Championship against Gunther. It is Johnny Gargano, Jinder Mahal, and the phenomenal AJ Styles, who is moving on to the finals of the Eliminator. We're kicking off SmackDown. High stakes, high reward. Let's get this thing underway. Thank you for joining us here on Friday Night SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. And in just over a week's time again, we'll be live right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the WWE Backlash pay-per-view. Already signed for that event, Drew McIntyre defends the world title against John Cena. What about the main event for Monday Night Raw? Matt Riddle, Randy Orton. It is a loser leaves Raw, hell in a cell match for the WWE Championship. It does not get more high stakes, high reward than that matchup right there. So much more still to come at Backlash as well, and so much more still to come here on SmackDown tonight. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, that being the one and only Ricochet, in action for the first time since WrestleMania. With his partner Mustafa Ali in his corners, he is set to go one-on-one -on -one 
with one half of the Viking Raiders, Ivar, later tonight on SmackDown. Also still, still to come tonight in this telecast, Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze, who made his return successfully last week against Noam Dar, will meet Legado Del Fantasma's leader, Santos Escobar. It's gonna be an action-packed night inside that very circle, and right now, AJ Styles taking the fight to Gargano. Gargano able to avoid it there. Styles pulls him in, looking for the crossface, trying to tap out Johnny Wrestling early in this triple threat matchup, and Mahal breaks it up, and at the same time, Gargano able to wheel AJ Styles off of him. Two of the three men in this matchup for the United States champions, Johnny Gargano on the other hand, most recently was one half of the World Tag Team Champions over on Monday Night Raw with Tommaso Ciampa. They lost the gold back on February 26th at WrestleMania. Of course, Gargano was drafted to SmackDown in the month of March. Oh, and Styles takes down Jinder Mahal off that burning hammer. Meanwhile, Gargano trying to take advantage, but as you see, the danger of the triple threat matchup. Very difficult to get a pinfall or submission when your other opponent is lurking. We saw that firsthand last week between Dexter Loomis, Dolph Ziggler, and Robert Roode, and we are seeing it again tonight. The Hall, Gargano, and Styles. Gargano on the outside. Jinder Mahal misses the clothesline. AJ goes behind on the modern day Maharaja. The man he has had battles with in the past over gold. Lucky. From the hall, he was able to avoid that drop kick there, but not able to avoid that lariat by Johnny Gargano. And Gargano and AJ Styles going at it. That's a one-on-one -on -one match I would love to see here on SmackDown one day. But tonight it's about triple threat. No eliminations, it's one fall or one submission to a finish here. And Styles looking to bring us to that finish, but Jinder Hall again, gonna have eyes in the back of your head in a triple threat match. Not only just for pinfalls and submissions, but to make sure you don't get jumped from behind. As Jinder tries to take out Styles there. But Styles, tough as they come, takes the fight to Jinder Mahal. You know, AJ Styles was unsuccessful last time we saw him in action at WrestleMania. He teamed up with the rated R superstar Edge, and unfortunately they fell to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn on that night. Some sort of AJ Styles now, who gets sent to the outside. Johnny Gargano ruling the ring here on the blue brand, at least for a moment. But as we were mentioning, AJ Styles, first time in action since WrestleMania. I'm sure he would love to finally get back in the winning ways. Especially with such a high reward at stake. Moving on to fight Dexter Loomis with a potential matchup for the United States Championship. Hanging in the balance. Chris Guther will defend the championship against the winner of this Eliminator, but that won't be the next time we see Guther in action. Wait a minute, Styles here going for a calf crusher on Jinder Mahal. Meanwhile, Johnny Gargano there. Able to break things up. Gargano comes from behind and wipes out AJ Styles on the knee. Yeah, what a triple threat matchup. We got kicking us off tonight here on Friday Night SmackDown. None of these men wanting to give an inch of Styles. Looks to pin Jinder Mahal here. He's still down and out. Mahal gets the shoulder up. As we were mentioning a moment ago, the next time we'll see Imperium's ring general and the United States champion Gunther in action is going to be Saturday night, April the 15th, the eve of Backlash, a WWE live event that'll be channel member exclusive only. You'll only be able to see the event if you hit that join button down below and become a channel member, a premium pass holder right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Gunther will be in action that night and much more to be announced for that event on the eve of Backlash. Jimmy Hall able to land on his feet there. Look at that, the muscle from Jinder Mahal. Strength and size certainly in his advantage in this triple threat match. Not necessarily speed or agility. But every man's got a strong suit in this match and they gotta use it to their fullest extent. Organo laid out Mahal, but their style's coming from behind. Look at the take out Johnny Wrestling. The forearms to the back styles now. He's got Gargano up and he face plants him into the cover and there's Mahal again. It is so difficult to even get a one count in this type of matchup as Jinder Mahal, while Gargano's dazed, oh, looking for that camel clutch on AJ Styles. As Styles taps, Mahal's going to the finals of the Eliminator to fight Dexter Loomis as Styles breaks the hole, takes out Mahal. There's Johnny Gargano taking out Mahal as well. The momentum swinging from pillar to post in this matchup as AJ, I believe Gargano had his eyes set on Mahal there, but he took out. The knee or the ankle, AJ Styles did of Johnny Gargano. Now wait a minute, Styles, Mahal's dazed, AJ Styles, Styles clash on Gargano. 
The hole better get his wits about him. Into the cover. Too late as AJ Styles picks up the victory. Well, that was a hell of a triple threat matchup. Could have went any which way. But in the end, Jinder Mahal, as you saw, laid out, at least for a moment, AJ takes advantage off the Styles Clash. A one, two, three, sends AJ to the finals. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. A big win for the Phenomenal's return to Friday Night SmackDown. And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming your way in two weeks' time here on SmackDown. Dexter Loomis will meet AJ Styles in the United States Championship Eliminator Finals. Who will challenge Imperium's Gunther for the United States Gold? We find out in two weeks here on SmackDown. We are back live on the blue brand for the first time since WrestleMania. Legado del Fantasma's Santos Escobar is back in action here on SmackDown, and he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who returned successfully last week, that being Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. But things not certainly successful for Santos Escobar the last time we saw him inside of that ring. It was, of course, back on February 25th in Tampa Bay. Santos Escobar in an incredible matchup against Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship, unfortunately coming up short. The leader of Legado del Fantasma returns here tonight, and he has got his eyes set on Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze in a matchup that could potentially line up Rey Mysterio's next challenger for the Cruiserweight title. Escobar's in the ring. You hear those cameras flashing. It could only be one man coming down the runway. And his opponent from seasonal residencies weighing in at 212 pounds. Well, Tyler Breeze drafted to Friday Night SmackDown last month and returned to the blue brand last week successfully against Noam Dar. But tonight, Breeze set to go one-on-one -on -one with Santos Escobar. This should be an incredible matchup. Tyler Breeze, of course, a former NXT superstar, former NXT standout, former NXT tag team champion, and dare I say, one of the men who was a pioneer for the black and gold brand. That being NXT and helping get that brand off the ground nearly a decade ago, but Tyler Breeze may be a veteran of the ring, but still only in his 30s in his in-ring year, in his in-ring career, excuse me. Tyler Breeze still a young man in my book and still has got a lot of ways to go here on Friday Night SmackDown. This should be a great matchup here. As we continue on, Tyler Breeze and Santos Escobar. We talked about the Cruiserweight Championship at Rey Mysterio. Remember, Ray was back in action last week in that open challenge, defeated Axiom, retaining his cruiserweight title. Now that Axiom has been put aside, I'm sure Ray Mysterio is awaiting his next challenger for the cruiserweight championship. Tyler Breeze a little above the weight limit, but don't put it past Tyler Breeze to put in the work and possibly get down to Ray Mysterio and that cruiserweight style size. This is going to be a great matchup. Certainly going to be athletic competition here. Breeze and Santos Escobar underway here tonight on SmackDown. And Escobar certainly got a point to prove tonight. You know, things have been rocky for Legado Del Fantasma's leader over the last few months. We, remember, he took a loss to Dominic Mysterio in the lead-up to WrestleMania. Actually ambushed Dominic Mysterio in the backstage area. And Dominic's been nursing injuries ever since. Also saw him in a series of matches against Tyler Bate. That's, of course, before WrestleMania, before Tyler Bate got drafted to Monday Night Raw. And then again, as great as Santos Escobar's performance was on the grandest stage in the mall, I mean, he pushed Rey Mysterio to his absolute limit. There's no questioning that. At the end of the day, it's the one, two, three that matters and the self-proclaimed greatest mask of all the time. And I certainly agree with those sentiments in my book. Rey Mysterio walked away of Raymond James Stadium, still the Cruiserweight Champion. Santos Escobar has got to get the dub tonight. He, if he wants another shot against Ray, he's got to get it done where it counts, and that's from bell to bell. Look out for Tyler Breeze. If anybody's got more momentum coming into this matchup, it's got to be T. Breezy, who takes out Santos Escobar with the Tornado DDT. Tyler Breeze has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them, especially during his days in NXT. Remember NXT TakeOver Brooklyn back in 2015, a legendary event. Tyler Breeze went one-on-one -on -one with Jushin Thunder Liger on that night. Took him to the limit. We talked about how Tyler Breeze 
Certainly a pioneer in the NXT black and gold era. And we've seen him back at the original NXT TakeOvers. Remember NXT Fatal 4-Way in 2014, almost a decade ago. And Sami Zayn and Adrian Neville, Tyson Kidd, and Annette Man Tyler Breeze were tearing down the house for the NXT Championship. Oh, man, what a super kick. Well, he may be Prince Pretty, but there ain't nothing pretty about Santos Escobar's face after he just took a boot to the jaw. Will that do it? Santos gets the shoulder up. Tyler Breeze wanted the win early. Not so fast for Prince Pretty here on SmackDown. Escobar's got to get back into this. No Joaquin Wilder, Cruz Del Toro out here tonight. Santos Escobar looking to go it alone. Proves to not only the people here in the arena, not only to everybody watching around the world at home, but quite frankly to himself, that he can get the W, that he can get the job done. If Escobar again wants another shot at the Cruiserweight Championship. Well, he needs to prove it, and he needs to prove it starting now. Drops the axe hammer. Simple but effective maneuver by the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Into the cover goes Escobar. Gets the two, but T. Brazy gets the shoulder up again. A great matchup, great night of action already here on SmackDown. Still much more to come. Epic tag team main event going down later tonight. And wait a minute, Escobar, Breeze on the top rope, went for the Frankensteiner. And you see Tyler Breeze held on to the top rope. And Escobar's momentum took him down to the canvas. What a DDT by Breeze. Escobar's fighting in this matchup, but I gotta say, Tyler Breeze has been in the driver's seat for the majority of this thing. I don't think Escobar has really got the right blueprint together for Tyler Breeze. I don't want to speak too soon, but do not count out Tyler Breeze as Escobar, wait a minute, stacking him up, and we've seen him put superstars away with that very maneuver. And Breeze able to get out of it, but a count of two there, and you know the damage has got to be done, especially to that upper back, neck, shoulder reason. Tyler Breeze has got to be feeling sore after that. Escobar just pancaking him off that leg drop. Tyler Breeze onto his feet on spaghetti legs. Five for soul one. Oh, went for the beauty shot there. Escobar sidestepped it. And Breeze, you saw, wait a minute. Suicide died to the outside. You saw Tyler Breeze was feeling it off that rough landing. He missed the beauty shot. Rolled to the outside to catch a breather. And but Santos Escobar, former Cruiserweight champion, they don't call him the Emperor Lucha Libre because it sounds pretty. Suicide dive to the outside by Escobar. Tyler Breeze taking a bullet to the chest on that one. He's got to get back into the ring. Count of four here, and you see Escobar's picking his spot. He's not going after Tyler Breeze right now. Is it allow him to get back inside the squared circle? And Escobar's using this as a moment to catch his breather and, and kind of rest before, before Breeze gets back into the ring, as he does right there. And you see Escobar is right there to capitalize. Tilt the world backbreaker there. Very Eddie Guerrero-esque out of Escobar. Oh, wait a minute. Santos could be looking for that phantom driver. And I don't think there's any getting up from that. Into the cover by Escobar. Oh! Big time kick out by Tyler Breeze. Santos Escobar's got to be racking his brain right now. I do not think he suspected Prince Pretty to get his shoulder off the canvas right there. And now Tyler Breeze takes out the leg. Down goes Escobar. And is Tyler Breeze going to dig down deep and get back into this match? Super kick for the second time. And he's not done as he drops the leg on Santos. And what a matchup we are getting between Breeze and Escobar tonight on SmackDown. Escobar heading to the apron, trying to use the ropes to get back to his feet, at least for a moment. As Tyler Breeze is locked and loaded, and he has taken the fight to the Emperor. And we talked about before the bell rang, that this is going to be an athletic competition between these two men, and they certainly are living up to that phrase. Wait a minute, nice counter by Escobar. Takes Breeze over with the Frankensteiner. A little bit of a shift in momentum, at least for a moment. Escobar sends Breeze. And this is where things go to another level in this contest. Ribs first, up against those steel steps. And Tyler Breeze maybe dragging his body back inside the squared circle, but you know he's got to be feeling it there. And there's a kick by Escobar. Tyler Breeze may have avoided. Wait a minute. Oh, no! Beauty shot! 
forget what I had to say. Tyler Breeze gets the victory tonight on SmackDown. 2-0 since the return. Well, I was about to say, Tyler Breeze was able to avoid one Phantom Driver, but if Santos hits another, I don't think there'll be any getting up. But we ain't gonna answer that question, because Tyler Breeze, beauty shot, and a victory. Here's your winner, Tyler Breeze. Well, Santos Escobar, whenever he wakes up for that beauty shot to the jaw, ain't gonna be happy, and it is not gonna be a fun night in the Legado del Fantasma locker room. But Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. That man is on a roll since returning to SmackDown. First Noam Dar, now Santos Escobar. What is next for T Breezy on the blue brand? Well, the action continues here tonight on SmackDown in a rematch from last week. Carmella now recruiting Zelina Vega to be by her side against Raquel Rodriguez, plus the United States champion Gunther goes one-on-one -on -one with Drew Gulak. And it looks like the assistance by Zelina Vega has assisted Carmella into victory over Raquel in the rematch. Plus, Drew Gulak falls to the United States champion Gunther here tonight on SmackDown. We're back live inside the arena. We got a big time one-on-one -on -one matchup set for you for the first time since WrestleMania. The one, the only, and one half of the new World Tag Team Champions, Ricochet! Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Mustafa Ali from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half, of the World Tag Team Champions, Ricochet! WrestleMania weekend certainly belonged to these two men. On Saturday night, they became the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners. And then 24 hours later, they dethroned DIY to become the new WWE World Tag Team Champions. Regardless of the titles due to the draft, they still remain here on Friday Night SmackDown. And Ricochet is set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of a team that may have caught the champion's attention last week. That being Ivar of the Viking Raiders. It was last week here on SmackDown that Eric went one-on-one -on -one with Mansoor and Eric absolutely destroyed him inside of that very squared circle. Now tonight, Ivar looks to make a name for the Viking Raiders on SmackDown and go one-on-one -on -one with a Ricochet. And his opponent, accompanied by Eric, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 305 pounds, Ivar! Well, these two men, no strangers to the World Tag Team Championships. As a matter of fact, one year ago at this time, they were holding said gold. As we touched on last week, the Viking Raiders contracts with Monday Night Raw expiring. They officially signed upon Friday Night SmackDown, and now they have set their sights on the tag team division, and certainly on the new World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. This may not be an official number one contenders matchup tonight, but Ivar and Eric certainly have a chance to solidify their spot as the contenders against Ricochet and Ali. Eric defeated Mansoor last week. Ivar's got a chance against Ricochet tonight. This could be a very pivotal matchup for the Viking Raiders here on Friday Night SmackDown. But a great night of action already. Still a tag team main event to come, but here we are set on SmackDown. Ivar versus one half of the champs, Ricochet. Here we go. Oh man, big boot by Ivar. Yeah, this is the first time Ricochet and Ali are in action since WrestleMania weekend on February 25th and 26th. They defeated Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest on night one. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Chip on night two. Meanwhile, Ivar may just squash Ricochet's ribs there. And Ricochet able to get the shoulder up, but so far not a hot start for one half of the tag team champions of WWE. As we mentioned, it was one year ago at this time that the Viking Raiders were atop 
of the WWE as the tag team champions. They're looking to get back there. Ricochet's got other plans. They're going to take the big man down with the DDT. Not enough to keep Ivar down. We have seen the Viking Raiders go to war with many teams over the last year, put on multiple match of the year candidates with the Mysterios and with the, excuse me, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Now they are here on SmackDown and looking to carve a new path, institute a new war against Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. Ricochet trying to go behind, but ain't no muscling up Ivar, the clear, bigger, stronger competitor. If Ricochet's got a chance in hell at winning this singles matchup tonight, he has got to use his strong suits. He's got to take things to the air. He's got to be what his nickname says he is, the highlight of the night. Remember, Ricochet was the Cruiserweight champion for the better part of 2022. Held that gold all the way up till January the 1st at the Royal Rumble, losing to Rey Mysterio. Certainly didn't take Ricochet long to get championship gold wrapped around his waist again. And now part of the tag team division, it's a whole new set of challenges. And of course the Viking Raiders won of those big old obstacles. Oh, the ricochet moves like that can certainly do him some good. Springboard, Pele kick and Ivar, not even a one count there. It is gonna be tough to keep down these hungry, motivated warriors, Eric and Ivar tonight. If you saw SmackDown last week, the replay's available right now, but Eric absolutely dismantling Mansoor. The one-on-one -on -one action here on SmackDown. It caught the attention of Ricochet and Ali. And this is the chance tonight for the Viking Raiders to put their name in the hat as the top contenders against Ali and Ricochet for the World Tag Team titles. Ivar's just mowing over Ricochet right now. Mustafa Ali certainly can't be satisfied at ringside with what he is witnessing. Ricochet just trying to get back into this right now. Ali and Ricochet, a team that came together due to mutual respect. Remember, oh, well, look at this. Look at Ricochet. A little bit of strength here, the one and only. And now going for the cover. As he caught Ivar off guard, will that do it? Only a one count there. As we were mentioning, Ricochet and Ali, they are a team that came together through mutual respect. Remember, they went one-on-one -on -one back in January in an Elimination Chamber qualified matchup that was won by Mustafa Ali, and then... The two came together and signed that open contract to be a part of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, and look how far it has taken them. They outlasted seven other teams in that tournament. Now they are the World Tag Team Champions of WWE. As great as all that success is, it is what have you done for me lately, and lately, meaning right here, right now, Ricochet is getting squashed by Ivar in the corner. He is down and out, and here comes Ivar! Just trying to collapse the chest cavity of his opponent here tonight. And oh no, ain't no getting up when the big man takes it to the sky. They have won tag team titles with that very splash in the past. A Little bit of hesitation, but got the cover there. And a two count there. Ricochet was able to survive at least for a moment. You gotta believe if there wasn't that hesitation by Ivar, this thing would have been done and over with. Ricochet may have held on, but he may just be prolonging the inevitable. So Ivar's really having his way with the one and only tonight. They never count out Ricochet. There's a counter right there. And there's a forearm by the one and only. And can the human highlight reel, the highlight of the night, get back into this matchup? Oh my, trying to muscle Ivar up. Ivar, though, too big of a competitor for Ricochet to keep over the shoulder. Well, it was a nice try there by Ricochet, but I don't think... Oh, wait a minute, there's a counter there. Don't count him out! And there's Ricochet, relying on his strong suits. Standing shooting star, now heads to the top rope. And what is the highlight reel of SmackDown got in mind right now? Hurricane Rana into the cover. Stacking up Ivar, will that do it? Not even a one count there. What the hell is Ricochet gonna have to do to keep the big man down? Oh, man. Look at this, look at the speed, look at the agility, look at the Pele kick. Ricochet got to keep pedal to the metal right now. Ivar has been a test. Counter by Ricochet, not sure what Ivar had in mind. Ivar able to counter whatever Ricochet had in mind. Trying to mow him over, recall me. Ivar gets caught. But Ricochet, has he done enough damage throughout this matchup to keep Ivar down? And certainly has not. He tries to go to the top, but there's the big man. 
swatting him off the top rope. And that may have been Ricochet's best shot in this one-on-one -on -one matchup tonight. Ricochet caught Ivar with that recall name. We saw a little bit of a sprint out of him for a few moments, but this matchup has been majority in Ivar territory here. Oh no, Ricochet about to eat the canvas head first. I don't like the one and only's chances right now. Into the cover. Oh, Ricochet smart. That is smart. Experienced by Ricochet grabbing the ropes when he knew he didn't have the power to get the shoulder off the canvas. There's experience playing in to the one and only right there. And a nice counter. Ricochet's got to be feeling it, but can he get back into this? Went for the springboard clothesline. Ivar got out of the way, and down goes Ricochet. Ricochet is down. Ricochet is out. Ivar is on the top rope. Look out below. What a leg drop. But across the windpipe of Ricochet, that'll do it. Wow. A dominating performance out of Ivar tonight. Ricochet showed some signs of life, but in the end, ain't no getting up when the tree trunk falls on top of you. Absolutely dominating win. Here is your winner, Ivar. Well, it ain't made official yet, but I don't think anybody can question that Eric and Ivar, as of late, have certainly made their presence known as the next number one contenders. Well, the next time we come your way on pay-per-view, Sunday night, April the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, is the live premiere event for WWE Backlash. And ladies and gentlemen, last week, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes threw out the challenge, and it has been accepted. The WrestleMania rematch is on. Austin Theory defeated Cody Rhodes on the grandest stage of them all, but Cody Rhodes wants the win back. Theory's got no problem in his mind putting Cody down again. What will happen on April 16th in this WrestleMania rematch? Coming your way next week here on Friday Night SmackDown, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight title, the franchise, John Cena, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant, Omos. What a colossal roadblock in Cena's way before Backlash. Will he be able to get the Omos? Find out next week on SmackDown. But it is time for your tag team main event here on the blue brand. Chad Gable, Otis, Alpha Academy. Let's get it going. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 532 pounds, Otis and Chad Gable, the Alpha Academy. Well, it was two weeks ago here on SmackDown that Otis fell to the man making his debut, the former two-time NXT champion, Braun Breaker. And then last week here on the Blue Brand, Chad Gable went one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, How, had a hell of a matchup, but unfortunately got his lights knocked out with the Claymore kick by McIntyre. Alpha Academy wants to run it back this time in tag team action. In their minds, their strong suit. And if anything, you got to believe that Alpha Academy, even though they got some tough opponents, might be the favorites here. Clearly the more experienced tag team, former champions in their own right. Ron Breaker and Drew McIntyre, two great individuals. But how will they coexist and how will they mesh as a tag team? We will find out in your main event as here comes the former two-time NXT champion. And again, the man that defeated Otis two weeks ago. Braun Breaker. This is going to be a good one here on SmackDown. And their opponents, first from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker, a hell of a competitor, a standout athlete in NXT, ruled over the black and gold brand for damn near a year. And now is here on Friday Night SmackDown to make an impact, and he has certainly already done so with that win against Otis two weeks ago. Can he get it done again? The lights are on bright, and this young man has got a main event spotlight on him as he teams up 
with the face of Friday Night SmackDown, the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. Big time main event on the road to April the 16th at Backlash, which we're going to talk more about in moments in the midst of your main event. But here comes the man. Here comes the Scottish Warrior, and better known as the World Heavyweight Champion. He defeated Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. He is marching into a battle with John Cena at Backlash, but Drew McIntyre teams with Braun Breaker tonight, and they got their hands full with Alpha Academy. It should be a hell of a main event. McIntyre looks locked and loaded. This is gonna be a good one here on the blue brand on the road to Backlash. The world champion makes his way to the ring. And from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Coming up in just over a week, in Minneapolis at Backlash, the championship is on the line. Will John Cena secure number 17 as he goes one-on-one -on -one with a man he owns a victory over back in December, Drew McIntyre. Got to wonder if that matchup between the two right here on SmackDown all those months ago is weighing in the mind of McIntyre. Is John Cena going to be looked at as the favorite come the Target Center in Minneapolis? You remember how we went off the air last Friday night, McIntyre defeating Chad Gable, John Cena getting in the ring afterwards, and having a little stare down with the champion, giving ourselves a little preview of what is to come in the SmackDown main event of Backlash. Cannot wait to get to the Target Center in Minneapolis, 5 p.m. Eastern time, Sunday night, April the 16th, live premiere event. But here we go tonight on SmackDown, Alpha Academy versus Braun Breaker and Drew McIntyre. Big opportunity for the young man, Braun Breaker tonight, rubbing elbows with the face of the blue brand, Drew McIntyre, but right now he's gonna take it for a ride by Chad Gable's number one guy, the heavy man, Otis. Alpha Academy, former tag team champions. And as we mentioned, Braun and Drew McIntyre may be great individual competitors, but will they mesh as a tag team? Not exactly sure. Alpha Academy so experienced, several years in the book as a tag team. You got to believe they are the favorite in this matchup, regardless of their recent singles losses. On Breaker taking the fight to Otis. He is looking to make an impact here on Friday Night SmackDown. Certainly has already done so. Will it continue tonight? I'm sure Otis and Chad Gable would like to say otherwise. They want to see Braun Breaker make a name for himself here on SmackDown off their behalf. Braun's got the big man in his corner. Drew McIntyre looks on from the apron. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it's coming up Sunday night, April the 16th, backlash. Drew McIntyre will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against the franchise John Cena. Cena defeated Austin Theory in a number one contenders matchup two weeks ago, earning that right to fight McIntyre. They will do battle in Minneapolis. Speaking of Austin Theory, outright challenged to a WrestleMania rematch by the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Austin Theory spoiled the return of Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. It looks like now that Theory lost his opportunity to fight John Cena, he's looking to get a little bit of momentum back on his side and in his mind prove that he can defeat Cody Rhodes yet again. This will be Austin Theory one-on-one -on -one with Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania rematch in Minneapolis. Chad Gable getting tagged in, and here comes the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre as well, and Gable gonna take down McIntyre off the early going. As we get back to this matchup that main evented last week, singles action now part of this tag. What about some of the other matches coming up at Backlash? A five-man elimination challenge on behalf of Monday Night Raw to crown a number one contender for the WWE Championship. Kevin Owens carrying across, Bobby Lashley, Sheamus, and Brock Lesnar. Elimination matchup, only one man is gonna leave standing on April 16th. Also coming up, the WWE Women's Championship on the line, behalf of Monday Night Raw as well. Asuka, Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan, Alexa Bliss, Natalia. It's gonna be a great matchup for the women's title. Chad Gable rolling on the outside there, McIntyre. The big man, you saw him take it to the sky last week. 
Chad Gable just taking his time right now. He knows what McIntyre is all about. He does not want to get Claymore to oblivion two weeks in a row here. But McIntyre certainly has other tools of the trade. It's another way to beat Chad Gable. Otis breaking up the pinfall there. I believe Gable might have got his shoulder up at the last second as well. McIntyre grabs a hold of the boots, and there's a counter by Master Gable, who takes McIntyre off his feet. A great night of action has been here on SmackDown. We want to thank you all for joining us moments ago. Ivar, that big win over the one and only Ricochet. You got to wonder if the Viking Raiders will be next in line for the World Tag Team titles. And we're speaking of backlash. What about the matchup coming up this Monday Night on Raw, the finals of the number one contenders tournament between Cedric Alexander and Shinsuke Nakamura. The winner is moving on to next Sunday night at Backlash to meet Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental title on behalf of Monday Night Raw. And don't forget, the night before Backlash, April the 15th, Saturday night, a special live event for channel members only. Already announced for that event, the United States champion Gunther will be in action and more matches still to come for that live premiere channel member exclusive event. From a premium pass, Holder today here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. On Breaker. Oh man, Otis running him over like a truck there. There's Braun popping to his feet. Braun Breaker, one of the toughest SOBs already in the SmackDown locker room. He proved it during his stint in NXT. Ruled over the brand for over a year. Became a two time champion. And is already making some noise here on Friday nights. Wants to continue doing so with McIntyre by his side in this main event contest. Otis down by Braun Breaker on his behalf. Still really yet to see Braun Breaker and Chad Gable lock horns much in this matchup. That's a one on one matchup I would love to see down the line. As Braun sends Otis into the corner. Drew McIntyre's got to be looking what he sees out of his. Young tag team partner tonight. Maybe the first time they're on the same side of the ring as each other. Possibly won't be the last. Hell, I'm sure Braun would love to be on the opposite side of the ring for the World Heavyweight Champion one day. But tonight is about a bigger picture as Gable gets tagged in, and so does McIntyre. Kip up by the champion and takes down Master Gable. Neck breaker for good measures. The World Champion beat Gable last week. He's looking to continue to send a message to John Cena tonight. As you just saw moments before this matchup kicked off, John Cena will be back in action next week here on SmackDown. Just 48 hours before his match with Drew McIntyre, he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant. Omas, what a matchup that is going to be. Triple suplexes by Gable. What strength out of that young man to muscle up McIntyre, but McIntyre gets the shoulder up, and the tag team matchup rolls on. Kip up by the champion. Gable whips him off. Gable goes behind. Look at that. Full Nelson German McIntyre laying on the back of his head. Gable falls up with a knee for good measures. Now Gable pushed the world champion to his limits last week, and he is doing it again tonight in this tag team matchup. McIntyre may be the man. He may be the world champion, but he cannot take Chad Gable lightly. A cross face by Chad Gable right here. Ron trying to break it up, but McIntyre is already taking care of business. Oh, Gable takes McIntyre down again. Surprise, there's no rope break there. I guess the referee is a little out of position, and McIntyre able to push out for the kick, kick out there. Excuse me. McIntyre is motivated now, fired up, has got Gable, muscled up. Down to the canvas he goes. This is a hell of a tag team main event we are witnessing between Alpha Academy, Braun Breaker, and your world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre. Otis in the ring. McIntyre's shoulder blocks his way out of it, and there's another one to take the big man off his feet. Oh, man, the champion is just unloading right now. What a matchup we are witnessing here on Friday Night SmackDown. Wait a minute, McIntyre. Look at the muscle power bomb. Into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. Who is taking the victory, ladies and gentlemen? We will find out after this break.
Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We are back live on SmackDown. It is your main event, Alpha Academy versus Braun Breaker and the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre in an epic tag team warfare matchup. Before the break, McIntyre muscled up Otis for the power bomb, wasn't able to put him away. We got two fresh legs in there right now. Gable back inside the squared circle, but here comes Breaker on Mrs. the Axe Hammer. And that may have handed the advantage to Master Gable of Alpha Academy. With that knee there, Braun was able to avoid it. Shoulder block there. And do not let Braun Breaker get going. Look at this. Well, Matt Technician there. That's the reason that I want to see Braun and Chad Gable go one-on-one. -on -one. See some more good old school wrestling just like that. Gable's dazed right now. Braun Breaker finding himself in a sweet spot. Looking to get this matchup done and over with here. Chad Gable. Oh, no. Oh, Braun could have been looking for that press slam. Gable able to avoid it. However, Braun put Otis away with the spear a few weeks ago. I don't think he had it in him to muscle up Otis, even though we don't want to count it out. Chad Gable gets whipped into the ropes. There's a nice slam by Braun Breaker. Gable on his feet, Braun Breaker now. Oh man, look at the agility. Great maneuver, Frankenstein was able to pop the hip, hips, excuse me, taking Gable down. Alpha Academy wants the wins back after the singles losses the past few weeks. Braun Breaker and Drew McIntyre trying to build momentum right now. Braun in his second match up here on SmackDown. The world champion Drew McIntyre wants to get all the momentum on his side before his matchup with John Cena on April 16th. Raw Gable down and out in the ring. Braun on the top rope and Otis coming from behind and shoving Breaker. And Braun Breaker not having none of it. Took Otis off the apron, and now he's got his eyes set on Gable. Gable able to counter, however. And here comes Chad. Takes him over. Thought he was gonna see the bridge. Not just yet. Into the cover there. Collar and elbow by these two incredible athletes. Gable pulls him in with a simple yet effective knee to the rib cage. And what a matchup this has been. What a great night of action overall. Inside of that squared circle. From bell to bell, this is what SmackDown's all about. And Gable takes Breaker down again. And look at Braun Breaker just pop it up there. The enthusiasm, the athletics, athleticism, excuse me. Now he's got his eyes locked on Gable. Oh no, got him for that press slam. Braun Breaker looking to end Alpha Academy's night on a sour note. Down goes Gable. Otis off the apron again on behalf of Braun Breaker. Who's into the cover on Gable. And Master Gable may be seeing stars right now, and that'll do it. A big time victory as the world champion Drew McIntyre looks towards Backlash, and in his second ever matchup on SmackDown, Braun Breaker wins again. What a great contest. Here are your winners, Braun Breaker and Drew Well, what's next for Braun Breaker here on SmackDown and what is going through the mind of the world champion Drew McIntyre as he continues to build momentum towards his match with John Cena on April the 16th. Thank you for joining us tonight. We will see you next week for Cena versus Omos on Friday Night SmackDown just 48 hours before WWE Backlash. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.